Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are doing the part two of I Make My Animal Crossing Villagers in The Sims 4. I need to think of a better title. <laughs> it doesn't really roll off the tongue, does it? In the first video that I did of this, I asked you guys if you guys wanted a part two and a lot of you said that you did. So we're gonna be doing four more of my villagers. Just to refresh your memory or if you didn't see the first part, my villagers in Animal Crossing are Maple, Lily, Agnes, Shep, Judy, Gonzo, Anchovy, Raymond, Kiki, and Gail. In the first part, I did Judy, I did Raymond, I did Kiki, and I did Maple. <laughs> and in this video, we're going to be doing Shep, Gail, Gonzo, and Agnes. These ones are gonna be a little bit trickier because they don't, I mean, a few of them have a defining style, but the other two don't really, so I just kinda gotta <laughs> <laughs> make something up based on how they look. I didn't download any new CC for this so we're just gonna be using everything that I currently have already. I'm really stoked to do this video though. I haven't done a cast video in forever so feels good. <laughs> I don't have Celsius today. I have coffee again. I don't know. I've just been really liking the new creamer that I got. It is the Coffee Mate Oat Milk Creamer. It's new and it's delicious. So cheers to you guys, cheers to this video. Let's get into it. Okay, you guys, here we are in Create a Sim. I'm so, so, so very excited to do this. You have no idea. I have all of my Sims here. They're just base Sims and they're ready to go. I did that off camera because it does take me a little while to do it, but I have them there. And the first time, I can't talk. I can't talk. The first villager that we're going to be doing today is Shep. Shep is a sheepdog. His personality is smug. He's a Sagittarius. <laughs> so he wears a denim vest initially, which I think is really cute. I think I might have a denim vest that we're gonna have to use, but his skill is speed reading. His goal is to be a professor and his style is historical whatever that means but i think i'm just going to dress him based on how he looks in his picture here he's very um what's the word he's he's like a hippie dog if that makes any sense like he has like this like disheveled hair that's in his eyes and he he's like all about like organic things so that's what we're going to be doing this is the base sim that i have for shep and yeah, let's just get into it. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. The first round of villagers that I did came out so good. I was very pleased with all of them, but I'm like nervous about these four because it's definitely stepping out of my comfort zone, especially with Gonzo. I'm doing an elder for him and I never make elder sims, so that should be interesting. All right, Shep. Well, I think we should... Let's start with skin details, of course. Uh, does he have one on? If this is your first video that you you are watching of me. Hello, I'm Savannah. It's very nice to meet you. I have a butt ton. Oh my god, did I really just say that? <laughs> I have loads of Sims content on my channel from Let's Plays to builds to some cast videos. So if that interests you and you want to come and join the family, it would make me super, super, super happy. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with the tried and true hazel skin detail, of course. Don't be surprised if I use that skin detail on every single one of these sims. It is what it is, you know? This is a very, very cute sim. I am already satisfied. <laughs> but uh, I think I definitely know what, what hair I want to use for him. Uh, it is a newer hair. Ooh, should we give him a beard? It kind of looks like he has a beard in his photo. And he has freckles, which is so cute. But let's see how he looks with the beard. Hmm. And like, okay, he's blonde. Like the hair on his head is like a light, it's like a sandy blonde. So I don't know, maybe we shouldn't give him a beard because he looks weird with a blonde beard. <laughs> I don't even know if we're gonna give him blonde hair. Maybe we should choose the hair first before we decide on facial hair. So let me show you the hair that I had in mind. This one. This screams like mm, the hippie that drives a Volkswagen bat a Volkswagen van to me. And that's kind of what Shep reminds me of, but I don't know. I don't know. That's the thing about these videos, is like I wish I could get your guys' opinion like I can do on my streams. But it is what it is, you know? I mean, he looks really good with this hair. We could also do this hair, which is pretty similar to what Shep has. It's just kind of like a mop on top of his head. It's funny, like some of you guys hate this hair and some of you love it. I love it and I think it would work really nicely for Shep. So 
I don't know, but let's see what else we got. There's also this one, which is like a shaggy dog with the hair in his face and everything. It just doesn't give me hippie vibes. Oh my gosh, we should do this one. I have been dying to use his hair. You guys know this. <laughs> and it looks just like Shep's hair. I will definitely leave a picture of Shep on the screen so that you guys can see what I'm talking about while we make him. Okay, yeah, let's just work with this one. I think this is perfect, actually. And I think Mr. Sir needs like more prominent freckles because Shep's freckles are absolutely massive on his cheeks. There, I think that's better. Okay, and I gave him like a little bit of stubble on his uh, jaw there. I think that looks really good. And shoot, I hope I have a headband or like a bandana that he can wear around his head or something. I know that Shep doesn't wear one, but I just get those vibes. Oh my gosh, we should totally give him the camera. Yes, 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 yes. That fits the vibes, guys. It does. Okay, let's find him something to wear now because <laughs> he's looking a little funky at the moment. It's not what I have pictured in my head. I just really hope I can execute it. So I'm looking for things that are earthy, um, that won't clip with the camera, of course. <laughs> It's gonna be difficult, I can already tell. I'm definitely gonna put him in Birkenstocks though. Oh, I totally forgot we're supposed to put a denim vest on him. I don't see a denim vest, but I have this denim jacket one, which is kind of cute. I'm gonna go download a denim vest after this video. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh, there's this one. It has like fringes at the bottom. Okay, I love that. Dang, I can't believe I don't have a denim vest. Crazy. Okay, I think this will have to do. And as far as pants go, oh no, this is going to be so difficult. It can't be denim because then the denims will clash. <gasps> or should we find perfectly matching denim and have him wear a complete head-to-toe denim suit? <laughs> These pants are actually quite cute. Hmm. But are they earthy enough? That is the question. Oh, there are these like very relaxed pants. I like those. Let me know in the comments if you guys have Shep as a villager and if you like him or not. Ooh, we could do the denim shorts. That's daring, is it not? I don't know how I feel about it though, guys. I don't know if I'm getting the correct vibes. How many times am I gonna say vibes in this video? <laughs> oh, shoot. This is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Okay, let's just work with those for now. Let me find some of the Birkenstocks to put on him. Uh, Birkenstocks, there you are. What color? What color? I think maybe just classic brown. Yeah, let's do that. I don't know. Does he look too put together with those pants? Maybe we should try the looser fitting ones. Oh, <gasps> these, 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 these are perfect. They are so loose. <laughs> That's precisely what I was looking for. Okay, fantastic. I think probably khaki. Okay, let's see how he looks with that first hair with the bandana. Ooh, you know what? I think this is more fitting. I really do. Yeah, I think this is much better. Much better. <laughs> all right, well, I think we're done with Shep. That's about all I can do with him. I'm just a little bit disappointed about the vest situation, but overall, I like him a lot. I think he's really, really cute. And uh, yeah, I definitely stepped out of my comfort zone with these shoes and the hair as well. So I think his aspiration's gonna be, well, Shep's goal is to be a professor. So perhaps we can do academic. And then for his traits, we'll do, he's a smug villager. Smug villagers are very polite, kind, and gentleman-like. As a smug villager, he will stroke his ego from time to time, going on about how cool he is. Okay, so we should definitely do self-absorbed. <laughs> Self-absorbed, we'll do good manners. We can do mentor or role model, maybe? Gives bonus character value scoring when you're toddlers, children, and teens. Sure, why not? All right, Shep, you are all done. I hope that you guys like him. Okay, next up we have Gail. Gail is a hot pink alligator. Everything about her is hot pink. Her entire house is hot pink, and she has all this cute furniture. She's probably 
the villager that I get along with the least in the game. She's not very nice. She's a bit cold. Uh, her personality is normal, but I like how she looks a lot. She's super, super, super unique. So her initial close is a heart tea. Her skill is hula dancing. <laughs> her goal is to be a gymnast. Her style is cute. And yeah, that's that. Okay, let's get to work. So Gail has, she has like these big giant turquoise eyes. So I think we should do that. Let's see. Okay, there we go. And let's find her some better brows as well. We're definitely gonna have to give her pink hair. So I need to find some pink brows. These could work. I really like these brows. I think they're really cute, but let me just, there. <gasps> Dang, those are some nice brows. Very natural looking. Oh my gosh, I'm already so obsessed with this Sim. She's so cute. Oof. Oh, that nose. Uh, I love the nose, but Gail's, she kind of has, her nostrils are like, hold on, let me see if I can do this. Okay, there, I think that's way closer to her, her nose. <laughs> the other one was just way too pointy and way too teeny tiny, but this is a lot more appropriate. All right, and she has these little flicks on her eyes. It could be either large lashes or winged liner. Let me see how she looks with large lashes first and foremost. I want to try these... I want to try these lashes. These ones right here. See if they fit because they rarely fit my Sims eyes because they're so huge. See what I mean? They just like overflow. I bet we could get away with it if we put eyeliner on her maybe. So let's see. Um, Still, they still look funny, don't they? No worries. We'll just use the lashes that we always use. I think I'm just going to do top lashes. Ooh, I love this wing. Oh man, that's so nice. Oh wow, that one is very <laughs> dramatic. <laughs> Looks just like mine. Ooh, that's a nice one too. Decisions, decisions. Let's go with these. I like those a lot. Okay, I'm definitely gonna give her this because Gail's a pink alligator and it only makes sense, you know? Oh wait, we could do the heart one. Oh, <gasps> cause she has a heart on her nose. Oh my gosh, I've never used this blush before because I'm just like, what am I ever gonna use this for? But now I have a reason to. Yay. <laughs> That's so exciting. This sim is going to be so pink by the time I'm done with her. I think actually this pink blush looks better. It looks more her color. And I did want to change the eyeliner because it was looking like too much makeup now. So let's just go with this one. No. Um... Okay, let's do that one. All right, let's find her some hair now. Super tempted to do this one. It's super cute, but I think I'm just gonna randomize until we find something that we like. Ooh, okay, I'm tempted to do this one. I don't know why. I don't know why, I just think it fits. Strong, very strong contender. <laughs> oh my gosh, should we do this one? <laughs> this is a new hair. I've never used this before, but oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I kind of love it. I just, oh, I wish I could get your guys' opinion so bad. And I think we can change the headband color too. Let's see. Yes, we can. Oh my gosh. I'm just really having fun with her apparently. Okay, let me pick an outfit and then uh, maybe we can decide on a hair later, but I'm really leaning towards that one. So she wears, it's like a lacy corset hot pink dress with the bow on it. I know for a fact that I don't have anything like that. So I'm just gonna have to once again, just browse and see what we got. Yes, I definitely get 50s vibes from her with this hair now. We can give her this hot pink jumpsuit, but no, it's not cutesy enough. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> That's an option. Oh my God, this is adorable. <gasps> oh, I wish there was a swatch that had hearts. This would be so perfect. I tend to dress all my Sims the same, you guys know this, so this is so hard for me, but it's very exciting at the same time. Oh my god, that's so cute. 
shoot guys i like this because it has the bow and she does have a bow on her outfit so it kind of goes together don't you think all of these outfits by the way are from the trillike or sentate times trillike collab they did like a whole collection and all the stuff is so adorable okay wait <laughs> That's cute too! I didn't even know I had this! Oh my goodness gracious. All the stuff that I just like skim over because it's not what I'm used to. It's so cute. I wish this came in like a super hot pink color. That would be really cute too. I'm torn between this one and this one. I just don't know. I don't know so I think I'm just gonna keep them both. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at accessories, and then we'll pick out some shoes for her as well. Um, maybe stockings if it doesn't look too weird. Oh man, that's a lot. That is a lot going on. Just look at her, you guys. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> With this outfit, I'm not really sure what to do. It's a little, there's like a lot going on. Um, I don't know what shoes to do. I definitely think Gail would be someone to wear heels though. We could just do these little shoesies for this outfit. I can't believe I'm doing two outfits for her. I think this one I like more though. Wow, look at how cute she is with glasses too. Oh man, I could play around with this sim and cast forever. <laughs> but I think we have to leave it here or else we'll just stay. I don't know. I don't know. Glasses or no glasses? I think I'm gonna do glasses. Okay, so... Since Gail's normal, a normal personality, she doesn't really have anything special about her. She's very agreeable. She gets along with everyone. But her goal is to be a gymnast. So I'm thinking we should do the... Huh. Hmm. Sure, let's do the bodybuilder one. And then she can have the cheerful trait. She can be active. And... What else? Let's just choose something pink. <laughs> okay, let's do alluring. All right, you guys. Well, here is Gail. Here's her first outfit, and here's her second outfit. I hope that you guys like her. It's definitely uh, not what I'm used to, but oh my gosh, I freaking love her so much. All right, next up we have Gonzo. This is going to be my elder sim. I honestly cannot remember the last time I made an elder and create a sim. I want to say that I haven't, like, ever. <laughs> but uh, Homie is missing some teeth, so let me fix that really quick. I'm going to give him the, the crooked and chipped teeth. Why not? All right, guys. So Gonzo is a koala villager. He is... Uh, he has a cranky personality. He's a Libra. Um, his skill is mental math. His goal is to be mayor. <laughs> that is so random. And yes, he is an extremely cranky villager. However, he is so freaking sweet in the game. He calls you kiddo. And he's just like that really sweet like grandpa of your island. I just love him so much. That's why we're doing him today. I thought it would be fun. To do something different. He's got black eyes. He wears a sweater, which is really cute. I love gifting him all kinds of sweaters to wear. <laughs> All right, so I say we give him a beard though, most definitely. I definitely want to change those brows as well. I actually think I want to make his head more round like that. And then, let's see, he looks really sad. <laughs> I guess that's appropriate because he's cranky, but. Oh, these are good. These are pretty good, guys. What do you think of these? All right, skin detail time. Uh, oh, we should probably make his eyes black as well. They're very small and black and beady, so <laughs> we can keep them that size that he has already. Oh, those are perfect, actually. They even have the correct eye shine. Brilliant. His hair's white. Shoot, how does he look with white brows? Looks a little bit weird. Well, perhaps we should keep it going. We could do this hair. I'm not really sure what hair to choose. He has like a little tuft right here. It looks like bangs maybe? Jeez, I don't know. I gave him a little bit more of a smile and I actually kind of like this hair. How do you guys feel about it? It doesn't really match his beard that well, which is kind of bugging me. Like this one's too blue toned. This one's too purple toned. <laughs> this one's too blonde. 
Ah, I think that one's probably the one that matches best. All right, let's do some skin details then. I think I have some skin details for elders. Let me try and find it. Because if I put a normal skin detail on, it just makes him look years younger. Oh, here we go. The V skin comes in an elder, an elder form. Um, hmm. That's just way too realistic for my taste. Maybe we just shouldn't give him a skin detail. Oh my gosh, did I really just say that? I mean, he's a pretty good looking elderly guy. I think it's the hair. It's definitely the hair. <laughs> I decided to change his hair to this one. It matches his beard better and it looks a little more elderly. His initial clothes are earthy knit and reindeer sweater. Well, isn't that just so cute? That looks cozy. Big fan of that. Dang, I'm tempted to give him this one because it does look like what he's wearing in the photo. I can't believe I don't have any CC Christmas sweaters. What am I doing with my life? Oh, I do! <gasps> I just had to search for them! Oh my gosh, okay. This is a reindeer sweater, so I think we need to pick this one. Reindeer sweater with some khakis and some... Oh gosh, what shoes? Can you guys tell that I just don't make elders? Like, ever? <laughs> Oh, those are kind of cute. I like those. Ooh, or should we do the suede booties? Dang, I don't know. What you think, Gonzo? Oh, the little green shoes. Oh my gosh, I love that he has a belly too. I stretched that thing out. <laughs> Dang, I don't know. Either these or these. I think these probably. You guys, I love him. He's so adorable. I changed his eyes to my G10s. I think they just give him a little bit more life. I think that's it, guys. I think we're done with him, which is honestly kind of crazy. That was so super fast. Maybe we should darken his brows a bit. Um, shoot, maybe not, because they're white in his photo. <laughs> All right, Gonzio. Gonzio, we will leave you as is. Actually, Gonzo has an orange nose. Maybe we can give him some orange nose blush. Just hear me out, okay? Just hear me out. Let me see how it looks. Aww. Okay, I already love that. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes, it's perfect. It looks normal, but like it also aligns with his cartoon for me because he has a little orange nose. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just love him. I'm sorry, you guys. He's definitely one of my favorites. And he's one of my favorites in the game too, so. There we go. Oh, right. His skill is mental math and his goal is to be mayor. Is there a politician, like politician aspiration? I don't feel like there is, but I know that you can have that career in city living. All right, let's just do the Renaissance Sim one and we can give him the genius trait and we can give him natural leader. If he wants to be mayor, I think that fits. Oh, he's cranky. Okay, let's just do hot-headed then. <laughs> all right, Gonzo, you are all done. I love him so much, you guys. I hope you do too. All right, and last but not least, we have Agnes. Agnes holds a very special place in my heart because she was one of my starting villagers and she's my very best friend in the game. So Agnes is a pig. She has a sisterly personality. She's a Taurus and her skill is cramming for tests and her goal is to be a pro golfer. So random, but her style is rock and roll, which I think is pretty dope. All right, Miss Agnes. I gave her kind of a little piggy nose. Um, she has black eyes and huge lashes. Like they're ginormous. Let's give her these ones. I love these eyes. Oh wait, what about these? <gasps> Shoot, I like those too. Okay, we're gonna have to do those. Sorry, I, I'm so indecisive. <laughs> well, I can already tell I'm gonna love her so much. I think I'm gonna go for the V skin with her. And as far as her brows go, I like the ones that she has on, but let's see. Let's see what else we got. Ooh, those are nice. Agnes doesn't have any brows, so we can just pick whatever. Okay, let's do those. All right. She needs lashes and, ooh, I wanna give her like really big lashes. Definitely not. <laughs> These lashes are more for like rounder eye types and I tend to make um, my Sims have almond-shaped almond-shaped eyes. 
Oh, those are really cool. All right, let's go with those. I rarely use these ones by Plum Bob Juice. I like them a lot though. She needs eyeliner, most definitely. She has a little pink nose. But it's really hard for me to find blush that looks decent on darker skin tones, unfortunately. Yeah, we can do that blush. It looks pretty good. All right, let's find her some hair now. I think we're gonna have to do... <sighs> Black hair. I mean, it only makes sense, doesn't it? Oh, she's so cute. I love her so much already. This Sonia Sims person, I just recently downloaded all of these hairs by her. I didn't even know that she existed. Or he, I'm not sure. But whoever this creator is, they make some bomb hairs, guys. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. Maybe we should give her curly hair. Switch it up a bit. Let's do this hair. Really, really cute, huh? She has pink ears, so we need to figure out a way to incorporate like hot pink on her head somehow. Maybe with like a headband or some earrings, but let's see. Let's see what we got. We could do that, but it's clipping a little bit, which is unfortunate. I don't think this hair is going to work out. It's clipping too much. Ooh, that's cute, but it's Max's match. <laughs> do I have anything similar that's alpha? Oh my gosh, okay. You guys know that I love this hair, but with the headband, oh my gosh, it just like takes it from a 10 to 100. I love this so much. I think we're gonna have to go with it. All right, let's find her something to wear now. I really like this outfit. I think that the, um, the skirt looks really nice. I'm not sure about the top though. This one's, this one's kind of hard, not gonna lie. Oh, that's cute. I love the fishnets under the jeans. Oh, decisions, decisions. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to go with this because she's wearing a pink and yellow like top and her ears are hot pink. So I don't know, the colors just, they just go together. I'm struggling with this one. Like, the dress that she has on, I have nothing like that. So I just had to wing it. So for shoes, I'm thinking either boots or Converse. Because she's rock and roll, you know? <laughs> okay, love the boots. They look great. But let me just look at the Converse really quick. Mm. I'm thinking boots, guys. I'm thinking boots. I gave her a bunch of tattoos as well because I feel like I never do that. Oh, wow, that looks really cute, too. Uh... Oh, yes. Yes, yes, a million times yes. Wow, she is just... She's everything. Agnes, you're everything. I love you. <laughs> okay, so her goal is to be a pro golfer. What kind of aspiration am I supposed to give her for that? Definitely not bodybuilder. Definitely not extreme sports. Well, since she's a sisterly, uh, a sisterly personality, um, that means when befriended, she will give the player fighting tips and teach them ways to relax. Agnes will also give the player medicine if they are stung by a bee. Like all sisterly villagers, Agnes is tough, but she will still care deeply about her appearance. Huh. She has a tendency to stay up late at night. Agnes will treat the player with respect and will even offer to fight off anyone giving the player trouble. Agnes may get along with jock villagers who share her love of sports. All right, so she's tough, but like really loving underneath a very hard exterior. <laughs> and she likes sports. Fighting tips. I think maybe we should give her the athletic one. That's the one that makes the most sense. Okay, and then we'll give her... Is there a tough trait? Self-assured, maybe? Self-assured, active, and... Oh no, you know what would be perfect? Bro. Yes, become confident from watching sports. Okay, let's get rid of the active one and give her something else. Beloved, maybe? Because she cares a lot about her friends. Okay, yeah, I think that makes the most sense. Everyone remembers a beloved sim, their relationships will never fade. All right, Agnes. Well, you are all done and your 
amazing. Holy cannoli. All right, you guys. Well, we got Shep, the hippie sheepdog. We got Gale, the hot pink alligator who loves hearts. We've got Gonzo, the cranky grandpa, but who's who low-key loves you. <laughs> and we've got Agnes, the the piggy who loves rock and roll. Let me know in the comments who your favorite was. Also, let me know in the comments who your favorite Animal Crossing villager of all time is. I'm very, very curious. I love you guys so much, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!